The great yellow sun is reflecting in your deep blue eyes The day has begun You spin around, you spin around You laugh to yourself And I see you shining every color Resting your head in my arms You sing la 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 Hello guys and welcome to another video with me, Matthew Smith. In this video, you'll see my epic day trip to the nice, hot and sunny Faro, which is located in Portugal in southern Europe. Yes, it was hot indeed when I went out there, you'll see later on. I depart from London Stansted uh, with Ryanair this time, uh, and will be returning with them the same, and unusually for me, into the same airport into London Stansted. And there were no notable incidents on this particular adventure. Everything was on time, um, unusually. Uh, no mishaps. I enjoyed seeing Faro. Um, it was a nice place. I even took a coach ride down to Albufeira, just on the only coast uh, in the Algarve. Just down um, the coast, um, I had a nice show through a lovely park, as you'll see later on. Uh, and then got a taxi back to Faro Airport to return back to London. All done in the same day as I always do. It was actually a really nice uh, trip, uh, as you will see uh, later on. Hope you like this trip. But first, let's hear some facts about this fascinating destination and see what things you didn't know. Uh, anyhow, I shall join you later on. See you then. Let's get started, shall we? Faro is located in southern Europe and is the southernmost city in Portugal and is the capital of the Faro district. Faro is also part of the Algarve region which consists of 16 municipalities and of which Faro is also the capital. As with most of Portugal, English is widely spoken in Faro as it is a popular European destination so many locals have taken the time to learn English and speak it fluently. Faro has over 3,000 sunshine hours each year and is often regarded as one of the sunniest cities in Europe. Faro has a rich cultural heritage with much of its historic centre retaining Roman architecture. The city is surrounded by ancient walls and loads of narrow streets with traditional Portuguese tiles and the old town features a cathedral, museums and a picturesque marina. Finally, Faro is home to one of the most important wetlands in Europe called the Ria Formosa National Park. Birdwatchers flock to this park along with nature lovers. It is home to over 20,000 species of birds and other wildlife. Hello, I'm currently at Luton Airport right now where I just arrived. It's currently 5 o'clock in the morning. Today I'm going to be off to Faro in Portugal. Uh, unusually, Unlike um, most of you, it's actually the same time zone as us here in the UK. So there's not going to be an hour difference like most places. But I'm off to uh, Portugal. I haven't got that long in Portugal, actually, to be fair. I arrive at half nine in the morning. I'll depart at four o'clock in the afternoon. So not actually that long to explore today. Um, but it's a nice little day trip. It's going to be quite warm out there. Currently, go currently going to be about 20 degrees going to the latest forecast. Uh, I'm off to food security now. I've got an hour and a half to my plane, which... It's not enough time, so I'll see you after security. Portugal. Uh, I arrived about half an hour early. It was quite a nice flight. Actually, I had a good sleep on board. Um, I'm currently in Faro. However, I wouldn't recommend coming to this airport. I really wouldn't. And the queues were enormous for passport control. Everyone was 
everywhere, she have impression. It took about 40 minutes to get through. It's one of the worst airports I've ever been to. First time I've been in Portugal, I haven't been to Faro before and I wouldn't come back. It's one of the worst airports to ever travel to. Um, stay away from this airport if you can. I mean, it was... It, I, uh, the staff just didn't care. You know, people were shoving, pushing, pushing in, everything. Um, anyway, I'm going to see if I can enjoy the remainder of my day here in Faro. Uh, my flight's at 4 o'clock this afternoon. Uh, it's currently 25 past 9. So let's see what's going to happen today, shall we? <laughs> Hello, I'm now in the centre of Faro. Um, yeah, it's an interesting bus ride. It goes through all the back streets. So I'm now by the main central bus station. I'm just going to have a look around. Uh, I've got my hour and 15 here before I get a coach. A Spanish coach, actually, uh, owned by a Spanish operator. Because I'm going to Albuera Firo. Uh, I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but that's what I'm going with. I'm going to Albuera Firo. Uh, and then from there, taxi back to the airport. I've got about an hour and 15 here. Just have a look around, see what this uh, city has to offer and why so many toys actually go here for. And hello from Albufeira, uh, just down the coast from Faro, uh, Albufeira is. It's a small uh, town. Uh, it's a 45-minute fo coach ride I've just been on, um, operated by Alsa. It's a Spanish company. Uh, it came uh, from Spain. Um, but I hopped on it, 45-minute journey down here uh, to Albufeira. Uh, I'm going to have a quick look around and see what's here. It looks quite nice. I think it's a lot warmer than her forward, to be honest. It, f it feels like it's like 25, 30 degrees here. Um, and it looks quite nice. I'm just going to have a quick explore. And then 45 minutes later, I'll be in a taxi back to the airport. Short little trip today. <laughs> dream last night did everything i never do in real life i stepped into a room told everyone to be quiet because i had something to say blew everybody away with whatever i want dressed in a gown everybody's like why are you going nowhere special just going to the store i think i'd have it all tell you why i be more picking the plate being the plate she is on a rule never seen her like this didn't think it existed no truth She's not here to play, she'll get moody But don't mistake this girl for being me Cause these are Hello, so I'm back now at Farah Airport uh, I've had a good day actually here in Farah uh, and Portugal uh, It's been interesting, it's been hot mind you But I'm back here now at Farah Airport um, It's half 
to now. Flight departs a quarter past four. Uh, so I've got a bit of time. This actually surprises me after security here at Faro. There's quite a lot of uh, food places that you don't normally find in an airport, such as Pizza Hut and Subway. I think I see what they're like and see what they're like and have a uh, try of them, I think. Right, I'll see you when I get back to Luton later. You can definitely feel the difference compared to Portugal. Oh, it's freezing over here. 20 degrees over there. When I get land here at Luton, it's 3 degrees currently. At least I've got back to my car now. I'm in my car, so I'm off uh, home. If you like my video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification button. Get notified every time I upload a brand new travel video. Hope to see you next time. Goodbye for now. And hello guys, I hope you liked my trip to Faro. Uh, now it's for the segment that I like to call, so what did it all cost? How cheap or expensive was my trip this time? Let's see if you can guess it right. Do you reckon it was cheap or expensive? I'll leave that up to you guys and you'll find out in a bit. As always in this segment, I'll be showing you the calculations, but I have cheated as always. I've got all the calculations on this piece of paper here. All I'll have to do is show you guys at home. Let's get started, shall we? So how much did it cost? Let me get my whiteboard to show you, shall we? So first of all, it's a food and drink while I'm, I'm still in the UK at the airport. So how much did that cost me? Let's have a look, shall we? So, food and drink UK. So how much did that cost together? Let's have a look, shall we? £5.10p and in <coughs> euros that is five euros ninety-two. Five euros ninety-two. So snacks and drink while I was in Portugal. Snacks and drink, there we go. So how much did that cost me altogether? £28.67. and pence. And in euros, that equates to 33 euros and 30 cents. So that's what we've got so far. Next is the bus uh, from Faro Airport into the city centre. Reasonably cheap at £2.18. And in euro, that is 2 euros and 50 cents. And next we've got the coach. So the coach is the one that took me from Faro Coach Station to Albufeira down the Algarve Coach, uh, Alba, Algarve Coast. Sorry, so I can't say things today. Uh, let's have a look. So it's twenty-two pound and sixty-nine pence, and in euros that is twenty-six euros. There we go. So that's what we've got so far. So next is the taxi, um, which I used Bolt for, uh, which is £20.78, pence. and in Euros, that is €23.80. Euros and, 80 cents. So how much did that all cost? Let's have a look, shall we? Total cost was on my trip today. Was well, seventy nine pound forty two cents, and in euros that equates to ninety one euros and forty two cents. 
So that's how much it cost me today. There we go. So, £79.42p or 91 euros and 42 cents is how much it cost me, uh, which is not too bad considering um, I was only out there for a day. It was reasonably cheap to be fair, and I enjoyed my day in Val, and I hope you liked following my trip to Val. And that's all I have to say, so don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification button to keep up to date with any new videos I publish. Uh, I've got plenty of plans for the future uh, to show you guys. And I, until next time, I wish you a pleasant travelling experience, and see you next time. Bye for now.